Hello everyone. Welcome to our orientation live session. Thank you to those of you who have attended several of these and are returning and welcome for all the new folks. Today's session is getting involved on campus, so we will learn all the different ways that you can get involved even virtually with UTD. My name is Katie Russo and I am the Assistant Director of Intercultural Programs. However, we are joined by several other people who I will introduce in a moment. Just a few logistics. You can see and hear us, but we cannot see or hear you, so please do not try to talk to us. You will be able to ask questions in the comment box. Right now, we don't have the Q&A open, but we will turn it on towards the end. And so you'll see a message pop up that says you can ask questions. So please feel free to type any questions you have to the presenters. Closed captioning is available. So there should be a CC button on the bottom right of your screen, and you'll see uh, where you can have English or multiple languages scrolling across the bottom of your screen as we talk, just if you need a little bit of language support. So first up, I would like to introduce Emily and Femina. These two women are coordinators in the Student Organization Center. Uh, next slide, please, Tamara. and they will be talking a little bit about how to get involved and how to work with student organizations. Hello everyone, good morning. Um, welcome to UT Dallas. We are so excited to have you guys here this morning. Um, I am Emily Minchie, as she's already said. Um, I am one of the student organization coordinators. Um, so I'm a student here at UTD, just like you guys will be. And um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about the SOC office, um, which stands for Student Organization Coordinator. So if we could go to the next slide, please. All right, so as I said, we're the Student Organization Center um, on campus. Um, you can find us located in the Student Union in Office 2.416. Um, we're housed in the same office as um, student government, so we're right um, across from the Galaxy Room, so you can easily find us there. Um, you're always welcome to email us at sock at utdallas.edu, or our phone number is also on the slide. So you're welcome to contact us in many different ways, um, or you can always email us individually. All right, let's go to the next slide. All right, so first up we have Tenille Lewis. She is our assistant director, so you will have her email right there. Um, Tanil is our leader and she does a wonderful job leading the Student Organization Center and all of our programs. So if you have any questions, you can definitely feel free to email her. She has been with us for a very long time, so she's very knowledgeable about any questions that you may have. Um, if we go to the next slide, we'll see our next coordinator. And um, this is Allison Cole. Her email is also up there. She is Tanil's right hand. Um, so if you have any questions, um, you're also welcome to email Allison. She's wonderful and um, she works with her little cat at home right now. So you're, if you're a cat person, she'd love to chat with you about your cat. Um, if we can go to the next slide, um, you'll see a picture of myself and Femina. So we are brand new student coordinators. Um, we are kind of the liaisons between our directors and all the students on campus and um, we just joined SOC just a few months ago so we're new at this but we are loving it and we're so excited to get to have this opportunity um, it's been a bit crazy trying to navigate the virtual world and joining the team but we're loving it and we're so excited to um, help you guys and just make it work for everyone even virtually so next I'm going to be telling you a little bit about how you can get involved in SOC we can go ahead and go to the next slide so there's gonna be a couple of QR codes. So if you wanna go ahead and pull out your phone and scan this QR code, there's gonna be a couple more through the presentation. Um, so I wanna tell you about a website called Presence. This is how you can get involved in any of our student organizations on campus. They're all housed on this website called Presence. If you can scan the QR code, it'll take you directly to that website. Um, you can log in with your UTD 
um, net ID and password and it will come up and you can search all the organizations that we have on campus. So um, there's different categories that you can look through um, and you can find what might interest you. Um, we've got very um, uh, over 350 different student organizations on campus. So we have got lots of different things. I'm sure you can find something that would fit um, what you're looking to get into. We've got cultural orgs, we've got religious orgs, we've got games, um, we've got some sports. There's everything that you would possibly want to get involved in. All right, if we can go to the next slide. So this is something that our office is doing. I think it's super cool. It's one of the favorite, my favorite things that I've been able to do in the office since I've gotten involved, but it's called Student Organization Match Card. Um, if you scan this QR code, it'll take you straight to this form. Um, but this is a form that you can fill out to get personalized recommendations for what you should join on campus. So you can go to this form. It'll ask you about your name. It'll ask you about your major, if you're going to be living on campus, if you'll be commuting virtually. Um, it'll ask you different questions about what you are looking for in a college experience, what kind of organizations you want to be involved in. And then our office will go through and look through this form and we will match you with exactly the different organizations or departments on campus that you would want to be involved in. And we'll send you an email with all the links and descriptions um, with for the student organizations. We'll send you the president's contact information so you can get in touch with them. I think this is just a really great form. Um, I've been able to fill out several and just give people very personalized recommendations. So I highly recommend that you go and fill this out and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, just some involvement considerations, some things that you might wanna consider getting involved in. Um, like I've already mentioned, if you wanna look through all of our student organizations, the registered student orgs on campus, and um, you can go to the presence website. Um, we also have UREC sports or outdoor excursions, and that will be something that you could request to be involved in, and we can point you in the right direction there. Um, for our commuter students, we have the Road Warriors, um, our Gender Center, or our Student of Volunteerism, where you can get involved and do some volunteering. Um, and JSOM has their own academic college, so they've got several different student organizations. So this match card process, we won't just put you in contact with specific student um, orgs on campus, but also departments. So this is just a great way to show us um, as a university what you'd like to be involved in, and then we will personally set you up um, with exactly what you would be wanting. So it's a great way to just find out what would fit you. All right, if we can go to the next slide. All right, so why should you get involved? So we talked about a little bit about how you can get involved, but why would you want to? So we know academics are great, um, but it's great to be involved in the person side that you want to meet new people, you want to make new friends, you want to get involved in different organizations, you want to do some volunteering hours. Um, I think this is especially important right now um, with everything being virtual. It can be very easy to be isolated and to, especially if you're just a brand new student at college, you're going to have to maybe put in a little bit more effort to make those friends and have those college experiences. But our department is working very hard to make sure you can still have those experiences, to make those lifelong connections, to find your place on campus. Um, we want you to be involved, and so we're doing everything in our power to make sure we've got virtual events going. We're going to be working with all of our student organizations to make sure they can still offer virtual events and be getting you involved. Um, everyone's just working together during this time, so I love the UT Dallas community. Um, as a student, it's been wonderful just to get involved and meet people, and student organizations had a huge part in that for me personally, so I highly recommend um, that you do get involved, that you do fill out one of our match cards, go on presence, see the different organizations listed, see what you would want to be involved in, and then reach out. And we're going to reach out back to you and we're going to get you connected in the right places so that you should definitely get involved. All right, if we can go to the next slide. All right, so as I said before, we've 
got over 350 different student orgs on campus. Um, we've got a large variety. Um, and so these are just a few you can see listed on the screen. Um, we've got Anime Orchestra, we've got um, John Marshall Pre-Law, Women's Science Alliance, um, the National Black Society of Engineers, Dancing for a Cause, um, there's RUTD, there's um, Focus, there's so many different organizations that we have on campus, everything from cultural to religious. Um, you've got uh, academic orgs, there are so many different categories of orgs. As I said, on the Presence website, you can look at them and see them broken down into categories. We've got a Greek life, we've got sororities, um, basically anything that you would want to get involved in. I know the other day I came across a board game club. There's literally anything that you can think of, we're gonna probably have it. Um, so please go check out on Presence, look at all the different orgs that we have. Um, these are just a few that are listed on the screen, but there's so many more. I promise you that you're going to be able to find something um, that fits you. All right, if we can go ahead to the next slide. Awesome. OK, so this is I'll, this is the last slide I'll do and then I'll hand it over to my coworker Femina. But so we talked about all the different student orgs we have. And by this time, I know that y'all are all going to go to presence and check them all out. But if you do go to presence and you look through all our organizations and you don't find one that's fitting the experience that you're wanting to have or the, the group that you're wanting to promote, maybe there's just something different that you would like to see, um, you can start your own student organization. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty easy process. I actually started my own student organization on campus with some friends. Um, so these are just a few of the steps that you will need to go through to start a student organization for it to become formally registered. Um, so step one, you need to recruit members. So you have to have a minimum of five currently enrolled UT Dallas students. Um, and then the next step is you need to secure an organization advisor. So this advisor must be a full time UTD faculty or staff member. And then you need to write a constitution. Um, if you don't know how to write a constitution, um, it's pretty simple. You can contact our office and we can give you some examples or guidelines, or you can find stuff on um, the internet. But these are just the first step that you have to do to be able to come to us. Um, after you um, find, the, find those five members in an advisor and write the constitution, um, you can move on to the next step um, where you can go to um, this link right here. Um, it's on our website, so if you go to the Presence website or if you just search um, on the UT Dallas website, if you search student organizations, this will pop up. Um, but you can find this form to submit a new student org application. So on here, you'll fill out the information about your five members, your advisor, and then you will submit it. And then next, um, we'll process your form and then we will get you set up for a new student org orientation. So this you'll come in, we'll give you all the information that you'll need to be successful on campus. Um, and then we'll go ahead and approve you to make your own profile for your org on presence. So just like I've been mentioning the presence website, it's obviously very key for our department. Um, but once you have gone through that orientation, you will get to go in and make your own profile for your student org. So on presence. You'll be able to set up links to your social media. You'll be able to post videos. You'll be able to put a mission statement. Really just make it super available for anyone who's coming onto the presence website and looking at your organization. So you can personalize it um, and you can set up members there. You can invite people to be a part of your org. So it's just a really great um, interactive website to set up for your org. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Femina. If you want to go to the next slide for her to start. Femina, I think you're still muted. 
Okay, yeah. Uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Samina Pereira and uh, me and Emily, we both together work as student coordinators and we're always there to help you so you all can reach out to us whenever you all want to regarding anything uh, to student organizations or maybe anything related to being involved on campus. So going forward, uh, we're talking about other areas for campus involvement. So uh, other than student organization, we also have existing organizations which are part of the UTD campus and you can get involved in those as well. So for example, we have student government, student leadership, we have SUAP, we have some spirit programs, eSports is one of the uh, you know electronic sport program and fraternity and sorority lives, student leaderships and the advisory board. So there is plenty of other things where you can get involved in if you do not find any student organization that is you know maybe best suited for you. So uh, going forward to the next slide. Um, yes, we do provide SOC resources as well. So these resources are basically to all student organizations who are trying to uh, get established. Maybe you're a new student organization or an existing student organization. SOC's main purpose is to be there to support you with all the resources that could be provided to a student organization to thrive throughout their journey in UDD. So we do provide mailing services. So if, if you are an established student organization and you receive mails, so we do receive your emails, uh, your mails and anything related to maybe if you want funding, you want to create a bank account for your student organization. You require a locker, maybe computer access. You need fax machine, copiers, laminating, poster printing. So all of these facilities are also provided by SOC. You can check it out on presence, how you can fill on a form and submit it to get any of these services fulfilled for you. So in addition to that, we have a very cool thing called as event enhancer. So imagine if you have a really big event which is being conducted um, uh, on campus and you're looking forward to things that is required in an event, for example, tents, tables, chairs, and we do provide these facilities as well. And it is totally free of cost. You can just avail it before uh, your event and like you just need to give a notice before your event begins well in advance so that we're able to provide these uh, event enhancers to you. And in addition to this, we also provide assistance. If you're not sure if any specific type of event can be conducted on campus or not, we're always there for you. We're always there to help you how to go ahead and plan an event and go ahead with it. So all of these resources are always at your disposal. Whenever you all want to reach out to us, we will be providing these services to you. Uh, going forward, um, the next slide uh, we have SOC events. So uh, other than student organizations and the events that student organizations conduct, we do conduct a lot of events uh, as SOC. So we do have a, a Comet Will, Lunar, risk management sessions uh, where these events not only revolve around being an assistance to you all, but also fun. Like for example, Comet Will is just a fun event where all student organizations gather together and especially during fall where new students are like you all are going to be joining us on campus so we can show to you all what different organizations we have on campus and how you all can get involved. So it is a really good base where new student organizations and existing can you know market themselves to the new students who are joining us on campus. We also have spring fundraiser, up all night, grocery bingos, where we try to get students accustomed to our new student organizations and our existing organizations where they can interact with people and learn more about uh, getting involved on campus. Uh, going forward, uh, we have campus events. So we have a lot of events throughout the fall and spring semester, but majority of the SOC events happen during fall because a lot of students join us on fall, including y'all who are soon going to join us on fall. And uh, despite the circumstances now, we can assure you that we will still have events going on campus and y'all can still get involved. So uh, we have a lot of events like 
like for example out of this campus events the comet will and uh, you know homecoming kickoff are some of the events which are uh, you know a total involvement of sock in it and there are other events which are created by other organizations on utd campus so these events are also open to you all to participate in and you know make new friends and you know reach out to people whom you really feel you connect to so um, there is a homecoming there is student leadership programs there is freshman programs so a lot of events out there and uh, there is a whole huge list so you just be prepared and get ready for fall to begin for you all and uh, you know get all excited and get ready since we have a lot of things prepared for you all uh, going forward we have um, the next slide uh, just about the pictures of uh, all the events that we've had up till now. So we have a lot of campus involvement and a lot of things going around in campus. And majority of the time it's during fall because we love to um, welcome our new students and make uh, things really exciting on campus. So uh, I'm looking forward to you all and we really welcome each and every one of you all to UTD and looking forward for you all to being uh, involved on campus, either getting involved with an existing organization or creating your own. So uh, if you want to be involved, we're always there for your help. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us. Um, uh, next slide would be OK, so we also have uh, other resources in addition to SOC. So uh, other than SOC as an organization, we also have Bursa Financial Aid for any of your financial queries related to uh, tuition fees or anything else. So we have Bursa Office, we have Bookstore, we have Shuttle Service in Zipcar, we have Career Center, Student Counseling Center. So we have a lot of uh, resources available on campus, not only for being uh, part as a student organization, but also being involved in other activities. So these do also offer uh, on campus employment as well, and you can check out the on campus employment website on UTD to see how you can get more involved with these organizations as well. Um, going forward, we have the next one which is Weeks of Welcome. So Weeks of Welcome is a series of events and activities held annually each fall that celebrates the arrival of new students and the return of continuing students. So this is one of our main event which is conducted by SOG and it's going to be an entire week from August 16th to August 28th and do scan the QR code to see our entire schedule. It's going to be a lot of student organizations coming out and uh, showing what all they are ready to offer this fall semester and it's going to be a lot of things going around on campus so please be excited and looking forward to seeing you all for weeks of welcome so do uh, i'm keeping the slide on for a while so that you can scan the qr code and see all the events that is there from august 16 to august 28 and you can check out the ones which is really something that you want to go and attend and um, although the usually this event happens on campus and you know you can see a lot of booths and a lot of things going on around campus although because of the current situation we might not have that much of uh, grand welcome for you all but we are trying our level best to make sure that you know you all are welcome you all are uh, you are part of our community and uh, we are looking forward to seeing you all um uh, the next slide would be um yes yeah, so that's it so i'm just wanting to say thank you to each and every one of you all for uh, uh being part of this orientation and uh, learning about getting involved with us so we're always available to you all so uh this the uh, the this the place where we are located on campus is student union 2.416 and that's our phone number so if we will be available on office you can reach out to us on phone number and if not you can always reach out to us on email so you can just drop in an email asking any query about any student organization or creating your own so thank you so much and i hope you'll have a great day today so that's it yes. thank you thank, thank you so, you so much, much guys
Yes. So, Femina and Emily, thank you. So, I hope you guys learned a little bit about the Student Organization Center. Joining a student organization is one of the best things you can do in college as an undergrad or as a grad student. It is so much fun and you get to meet people who are like you, even virtually. You can take a look at all the things they have and you can see um, what student organizations are available and reach out to them. There's probably a lot of virtual events that student orgs are doing through Teams or Zoom. So go ahead and try. But next up, we have the Student Union Activities and Advisory Board and Meteor Theater hosted by the Assistant Director, Dominique. So I will allow you to take it away, Dominique. Hello, good morning, everybody. I am glad to be here and I'm glad that y'all are joining us this morning and I'm just excited to present Swab. I want to say Sock, y'all did an excellent job. It was nice seeing your presentation and I want to encourage all of y'all to go ahead and get involved virtually and make yourself known and get yourself, you know, uh, acknowledged with everything that is going on on campus. But as Katie said, I am Dominique Spikes and I'm the assistant director for SWAB and Meteor Theater. And I know you you all are probably looking at this word SWAB, S-U-A-A-B, like what is this? What is that? So yes, it is pronounced SWAB and that stands for the Student Union Activities and Advisory Board and Meteor Theater. And so both of these are, are going to be providing virtual events throughout the whole semester. We aren't going to have any in-person events, so that that's a special feature for y'all. We're, we're going to be here for you virtually, and we're going to host a lot of a lot of tremendous events that you all will enjoy. So, I just want to let you know, and I hope that you are looking forward to it. And so, on our next slide, I'll be telling you about our story. So, this is Swab story. I want to let you know that we are the first programming board. And our mission is to put on a variety of large scale, fun, innovative events at no cost. So yes, that means they're, they're free. All these events that we'll be hosting for you, they will be free no matter what platform they're on. And we'll make sure that there is an ease of access for you so that you are able to attend them all virtually. So that's free for students, that's free for staff and free for alumni. So if you have any friends who have graduated from UTD that you know, feel free to reach out to them and let them encourage them to come and be a part of our events. And our purpose, SWAP's purpose is that we don't want you to be stressed out at all. We want to enhance the student life. We want to enhance your life, the experience that you have here at UTD. And we want to provide you with entertainment, fun events. Who, who, who doesn't like fun events? We want to make sure that these events are fun for you and we want to provide you know, a stress reliever. We want to relieve you from the stress of schoolwork. I've been a student here. I've been a student and, you know, it, you just go through all of your classes, exams. You have your personal life. You have your family life as well. And we want you to take a back, take a step back from that and just have a mental capacity for some fun, some fun, some fun time and some fun events. And so as you see here on the screen, it says swab and it says we make the events but you make the memories so yes we're going to create all these events for you virtually but it's up for you to make the memories that you have at these events we want you to take something away take a piece of these events with you after the events are over after you log off your computer after you log off your phone we want you to remember and have these memories developed within you mentally you're like oh i had this great time at this event with swab swab and meter theater they they hosted this fun event. I can't, I'm looking forward to their next event. And this is what we're gonna be providing for you all. So I want I, I, I want to stress that. We, we're gonna make these events, but you all are gonna make the make the memories. And Swab, we recently did a rebranding. And with this rebranding, this is whenever we created our new logo right here, which is on the screen, which you see is filled with five colors. And these five colors represent all the five chairs, all the five chairs from our student staff that I will be talking to you about later on. And all of them are hosting these events. They're the ones that are coordinating and planning, doing all this planning and all of that. So they're the, they're the students. The students, they create these events for you all to have fun. So it's not 
me, myself, and one of my other colleagues that I'll, I'll present later on, it's the students. They're providing these events for y'all and they have committees as well. And you all can get involved with these committees. I'll talk about that a little later on as well and show the link for you to go on to our website so you can, you know, you, if you, we want to hear your voices. And it's not just about, oh, hey, I think we should have this event. No, we, we, we go out, we assess, we want to hear the voices of the students. We hear the students say, hey, we want this, we want to hear this speaker. Hey, we want to have this magician. And we take that and we listen to it and then we go out and try to get them for you. So I want to let you know that we are here for you. We're here to provide stress free events and entertainment. So that is our mission and our purpose and our vi and some of our values is to be creative. To be innovative. To be adaptive and to be inclusive. So with this, we want to let you all know that we're here for you with this with our creative events and we're going to be innovative and we're going to be inclusive to any and everybody here at UTD. This these are the values that we got from the University of Texas at Dallas. So this isn't just with SWAB, but this is everything that we see while we're on campus and getting the campus feel the campus vibe from every department that we interact with. And now I'm going to tell you about Meteor Theater story on our next slide. So Meteor Theater this is the only film led programming board on campus. We provide monthly screenings of new films at no cost. So yes, SWAB, we host events for free and Meteor Theater, we host events for free as well. And when we were on campus, you know, we would have different times where people would come to the auditorium, we would provide you with popcorn and whatnot. So looking forward to that in the spring semester, if we do, you know, reconvene in person physically, but we're going to find new ideas so that we can still you still have that effect where you are in a movie theater and you know it feels like you are having that popcorn and having a good time on the weekend or after school. So we want we're going to be providing you with these new features who, who doesn't like movies and it's a diverse catalog of films and we're going to provide and we provide what it takes and what it involves into making a movie. So we actually go into the movie and the screen filming process. So we do a lot of filmography and whatnot, the directors, behind the scenes, all of that. We go, Meteor Theater goes real into depth and they're real serious about movies. It, 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 it's real interesting to me. And the purpose of Meteor Theater is to engage students with the art of the film. It's more than just the movie, it's the cinematography as well. And their values of media theater are diversity, immersion, cooperation, and accessibility. And I know you all see this logo here right now, but media theater currently is rebranding their image, their brand, their brand right now. So they will be launching their new logo, I believe, at the start, sometime in August. Uh, should be in the next two weeks, at the beginning of August, or either during weeks of welcome, I believe. That's whenever they will be revealing their new brand. So you won't be seeing this, but you will be seeing a MT to represent Media Theater. And it's just gonna be a big campaign and they're really looking forward to showing off this new brand that they have. And so now I'm going to introduce you our workers, the assistant directors who make the ma magic work behind the scenes. So this is one of my coworkers. There's two of us, is myself and Gino. And so this is Jonathan Gino White. He goes by Gino and he's, I, I love working with Gino. He's real creative, he's real imaginative and the students love working with him as well too. He's a real funny guy. And actually something unique about him is that he was a student worker for SWAB. So he ended up being a student worker for SWAB and he loved it so much. He's, he, he's still here today and now he's assistant director. He's directing everything from behind the scenes now. So he's been here and he's seen the different eras and the, the different years of being here in SWAP. So he has a real good taste, you know, for entertainment. So I really enjoy working with him and the students love him as well. And next up, you will see a picture of me. So Dominique Spikes, student direct, student life programs, assistant director. And there's my email. So you could contact either Gino or myself. So be sure to write our emails down. I'll keep this up for you a little bit. But contact us if you 
have any ideas or anything you want to see or you want to bring to the table like hey these are some speakers we might want to these are some some entertainment we want to see brought to utd and hosted by swab and we really look forward to hearing from everybody because like i said we just like to assess everything and provide you so that you can create these memories for so we can host the events for you so you could create the memories and so that's my email be sure you write it down and then up next i'm going to introduce you all to each of the chairs that we have so we have an exec chair for swab that oversees these four positions as well as marketing and so the four positions you see here are traditions speakers music and variety so each of these entails the type of events that we host so we have speakers events we have traditional events we have music events and variety events and these are the five chairs of swab Media Theater has one chair, and they oversee a mainstream and cinematography piece. And so each of these, each of these chairs, they bring a diverse and a di diverse events to the campus. So for our speakers, in the past, we've had comedians and political speakers come. And so for traditions, this is more of the homecoming. We have Swab's birthday. We have different traditional events, campus tradition, campus tradition events that we host and that we entail and that we provide for y'all. And then with the music, who does not like music? Music, we bring different artists on campus and have a big concert, huge concert. Sometimes they're outside. If it's raining or something, it'll be inside. But all these events that I'm talking about right now, we're going to be providing it to you virtually. So you'll be able to see some well-known speakers come to UTD or be hosted by Swab virtually. We'll be coming up with some new traditions virtually. That's the, that's the fun thing about the time that we are in now. There is no limits. We could bring anything to the table and start new traditions. And those new traditions are going to be starting with you all. You all that are watching and right here in this presentation. And so I hope I'm influencing you all and encouraging you all to come to our events and want to participate in them and be a part of them. And so let me talk to you about some of the upcoming events that we do have for the semester. We have our, our variety chair, they're thinking of doing like a Creatures and Crowns event. And in this event, it's to where, who doesn't like pets? If you have pets, send them in. We're, we're looking for applications and I'm gonna show you the link coming up but send in, send in applications and pictures of your pets. And it's gonna basically be a beauty pageant or a pageant contest for pets. Do you have a pet dog? Do you have a pet bird, a pet fish? Can they do tricks? That, that's real exciting. And our music, our music chair, they're gonna be hosting a DJ battle. They're gonna have some open mic nights and as well as a comedy show. So we're, we're trying to work with some comedians that we can some comedian artists that we can bring to camps that we can bring to you all virtually and another variety of event that we have is a murder mystery who doesn't like solving mysteries so with that murder mystery it's basically like you sign up and somebody's going to be assigned as the murderer but we don't know who it is so everybody who's watching it will be probably up to maybe 50 people and one one of the person is going to be a murder and you have to solve that and it's going to be hosted virtually. That sounds fun. I, I mean, I like murder mysteries. And if you've seen the movies Knives Out, Meteor Theater, we just previously showed that. But that was sort of a murder mystery. That's like a murder mystery event that we'll be hosting. But instead of a movie, it'll be in an event for format. Some speakers that we're trying to get are some political speakers. Just due to the times that we are in now, we're looking at trying to get into a political speaker. And for the music, again, just more concerts and try to do some trivia nights. And with our events, we try to provide you all, you know, with some gifts. Who I don't know who doesn't like gifts. We try to do free t-shirts as t-shirts as well and prizes. You know, these awards, we, we want you to feel like, oh, I really worked for this. I had a good time. And look, I have this shirt to show off how how wonderful a time I had at this event. And one of the artists we are trying to get coming up, we're still in the works with some details, but we might be able to, we might have pre-existing condition, condition with Priyanka Wally and Sammy Obed. So we're really looking forward to them.
but we're still in the works with them. And we're in the works today. We're trying to hear back to get confirmed about some people. But I know last semester before everything happened, we, we were trying to get Try Guys and everybody was really excited about Try Guys. So hopefully we could get them and try to secure them for this upcoming semester. But we're really looking forward to that. And we just want you all to be involved virtually and be involved with all four of these committees. So with these chairs, speakers, traditions, music and variety, they do have committees as well that you can join. And there's just a committee member application saying why you want to be a part of these speakers event. Why do you want to be part of traditions, music and marketing as well? So our marketing chairs, there will be putting out the flyer for these on all of our platforms. So I just want you all to know, and this is where the application is, the link at www.utdallas.edu slash swab. And this is where you can see all the chair's information. And that's where your voice is heard. If you're a part of these committees, hey, I know these excellent speakers. I want to I want to be a part of speakers committee. And actually being a part of the actual spe speakers committee, that will help you be able to be a speakers chair maybe next year, be a part of the music chair. You know some good musical acts that you would like to see, like to see swab hosts, be up, be a part of that committee and then let the committee chair know, let each exec chair member know and they'll work with you. And just like we have this for swab, media theater, we do the same thing for our mainstream and cosmic film. And since we won't be able to actually meet on campus to show movies, we are in the works right now with a virtual opportunity to where we can provide you feature films throughout the semester. So we're still working on that. Now up next, I'm going to be showing you the past, present and future. So these are some of the past events that we've had for Meteor Theater and Swab. So we had a com comedian artist, Jabuki, was a big hit, filled out our auditorium, and we had lines outside of the our ATEC building. It was just long lines and everybody was real excited for this comedian show, Jabuki, which they were re really very funny. Meteor Theater, we had our trivia night and we just brought in this vendor where they hosted a trivia night and there were groups of teams. They were all real competitive, trying to win. You, you could see the excitement there. And we're still gonna be providing these features, these events virtually for you all. Our liftoff series, that's, that's the music series. So we have different music, every month every month we'll bring a speaker we'll bring we'll have all of these events so we're trying to have 12 events in total throughout this this spring semester so that's four events each month provided by each chair and then cosmic film festival that's what by meteor theater where you actually create can create your own film create your own short film and it gets rated against other films in a competition as well and if we go to the next slide i can show you some of the movies that Meteor Theater has played this past year. So as you can see, we have like Shazam, The Amazing Spider-Man, which that was a big hit. Game of Thrones, we had a Game of Thrones series where we, we had people come in campus and watch Game of Thrones together. And then on the right, as you can see, this is just our trivia nights going into the Cosmic Film Festival, and if you see in the bottom, that I believe that's Elsa off of Frozen. Who doesn't love Frozen? That was a good movie. And if you look on the left side, you see Meteor Theater Podcast. Meteor Theater will be providing a podcast for everybody where they just talk about films. Sometimes they have call-ins, and then sometimes they'll just show them going out, going throughout their day of a meteorite. We, we, we call Meteor Theater people quote unquote meteorites, just like our swab people, the people that are involved in swab, swabbies. And then moving forward to our next slide are more of our events that we have. So as you see our liftoff music series, this is just people just, we just showed pictures of real time events and how people are having fun. I talked to you about the open mic nights where we have people come and just open up their hearts and talk about the event. Talk about what's on their mind, our field day, home fest during homecoming, where we have offer a variety of different choices for you to have, different entertainment for you to have throughout your event, throughout the event. And then moving forward, these are just some of the bigger events that we had. And this, 
with the magic of Michael Kent, we have magic shows, Comet Day, Cosmic Image, all of these. These are just, like I said, different events that we've had in the past. And then the next slide is some of our old branding that we had, but we did have Jimmy O. Yang and then Bill Nye, the science guy. So we've had some big names here at UT Dallas. And I know another past comedian that we had was Hassan Minaj, which everybody loved him as well. That was a good turnout. And then in this next slide is more of the new branding with Swab and Meteor Theater as well. I talked to you about the trivia night, but we did have escape rooms and we were trying to figure out a way to do a virtual escape room. So that's maybe something we can have. We're still brainstorming on some of the events, but majority that I told you about, the murder mystery, creatures and crowns, DJ battle, we're definitely having that for sure. The open mic night, comedy shows. So we're really looking forward to all of these events and seeing you all there as well. And in the next slide, it shows the merchandise that we have that we usually give out some of the giveaways that we have our swab shirts where it, it just has our logo and like i said we make the events but you make the memories and we want you to walk around we want you to wear the shirt and feel like you've been a part of that event and i know we won't be there in person to give it to you but virtually we'll be we'll be sending, sending these out and mailing these out to you our giveaways our prizes our shirts if you're a committee member and we're trying to reach out to you and we want you to feel like you're here in person on campus, even though we're not there. We still want you to have that family feel. And on our next slide, I just wanted to let y'all know, we, we make sure we provide y'all with quality events. We always give 100%. We strive for excellence and we respond positively to you. Hey, if you, if you had a bad experience at an event, email us, email me personally. Let me know and we'll respond with you carefully, passionately and let you know we, we, we feel for you and we're sorry. We'll apologize for that. But we, we, we rarely have any instances like that, but we want to let you know we're going to provide you with the best quality events. And we want you to make sure that you are getting out everything that you wanted, that you were expecting. And we will be working efficiently and working effectively and working hard to provide y'all with great virtual events. And with Meteor Theater, that's their logo. That, that's their logo and that's their tagline the complete film experience and we're going to be providing you with that as well and moving forward to my last two slides just make sure that you follow us at utd swab on instagram follow us for all the updates we're going to be up to updating y'all on instagram facebook and twitter on all those social media platforms so remember utd swab and you'll see it on the stories with all of our students interacting with you and then on the last slide Follow Meteor Theater at Meteor Theater. And we're looking forward. We hope that you see, we hope that you're ready for our big brand reveal, our new brand. And that is all for it for Swab and Meteor Theater. Any Thanks. questions? Thank you so much, Dominique. I hope you guys found a lot of good information from his president presentation. Woo. Anyway, Swab is amazing. They put on the craziest and the most fun events. They they had the guy who does the voice of Bob from Bob's Burgers and Archer one day. And Bob's Burgers is my absolute favorite cartoon really truly favorite show and I was so excited to see that one. They, they have amazing events. So like Dominique said, everything's virtual in the fall. So hello, win for all of us. We could attend these events safely. But now I'm going to turn it over to Flower. If you guys have questions, you should see a little question box with two conversation um, boxes with a question mark. Please post any questions you have and Flower will announce them and any one of our present presenters can answer. So Flower, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Katie. Um, so we currently have a question here, and it's, do we need to be enrolled to participate and contribute to these organizations and departments? Mm, that is a great question. I actually think it sounds like it's for both of you guys. So for Swab and for SOC, do you want to share a little bit about what they need to do to participate in your organizations and events? Maybe, yeah, Emily first. 
Yeah, I can go ahead and um, take that question. So um, I know we talked to you all about a lot of events that the SOC office hosts or the student organizations here on campus. Um, but yes, you can be involved. I know many of you, like we've talked about, will be coming in virtually and not actually on campus, but you can get involved. Um, with these things. So you can go to the presence website, like I mentioned before, and get involved in many of our events. And um, we talked about Cometville, um, Homecoming, Grocery Bingo. We'll be hosting those things um, virtually as well. So you guys will get to see those. So um, if you want to follow us on social media at UTG SOC, um, you'll be able to see those events coming up. So you'll definitely be able to get involved even virtually. Awesome. Dominique, do they need to contact your office in order to get involved? So to get involved, like I said, you could be a committee member and we have those applications at utd.edu slash swab. And that's just so that you could be behind the scenes. If you want to be a part of the planning process, if you want to be a part of bringing in, saying that you were a part of bringing in a big name speaker or a, a part of the variety event. If you want to help out for the traditions that we do plan on campus, that's how you can be involved. If you just want to show up to the events, that, that's another way of contributing and being involved as well. Mm -hmm. It's whatever you want to put on your plate, how much you want to be involved, how much you want to have your foot in the water per se. So mm -hmm. I would say being a part of the committee members, and being a part of the events going showing up to the events yeah i also just posted in the q a y'all um the comet calendar so this is a really great way to find out the events that are happening on campus i know emily and femina went over some additional um, offices on campus that host events and have organizations related to them pretty much every single event that's on campus will be posted on the Comet calendar. It's one central way for all of us to advertise our events and connect them to our website and our department. So for example, all of these presentations I have posted on the Comet calendar, everything is going to be posted. So you can take a look and see what offices are hosting events. I know um, Swab always posts all of their events on the Comet calendar because I always see them on there. Same with um, offices like the Gallerstein Gender Center. They always post their events on the Comet calendar. And so you can find the details on how to participate. If there's a particular office that sounds really interesting to you, like maybe the Career Center, maybe you want to find out more about career services and what events they're hosting, take a look at their website and they will usually have a page on their website that shows what events they're doing, what organizations and how to get involved in their department. Oh, and I see Dominique posted Swab's website, so that's really awesome. Yes, that is a fun way to get connected with Swab. Their website's great. All right, do we have any more questions, Flower? We do not. No? OK, I have a question. And this one's for the SOC office. So what about students who aren't studying here in the US during the fall? Can they still connect with a student organization? Uh, yes, for sure. Go ahead, Samina. Yeah, uh, you can definitely uh, connect to any student organization on campus, even if you are not uh, physically present on campus, because majority of our events are going uh, virtual for fall semester. So even if you are internationally anywhere on the world, you can still connect and reach out to these student organizations and be part of their uh, events as well. So I'll be just dropping in the link of uh, the SOC and you can check out what we have. Uh, so and what events we're going to have and what student organizations are involved with us. Awesome. Yeah, another really great way for you to get involved if you're kind of like, where do I start? Um, how do I reach out? Um, is the match card process we talked about. 
um, if you want to go ahead and you can find that form on our website and if you want to fill out that form just let us know what kind of experiences you're looking for what are your hobbies what are you interested in we can match you with specific organizations or departments on campus and we'll give you the contact information to reach out to those to see how you can get involved in this specific organization, what that org's virtual events are going to look like. So just like SWAB's hosting events, the registered student organizations on campus will be hosting virtual events as well. So we can give you the particular contact information for those um, organizations that you would want to be involved in so that you can reach out and get involved even wherever you're at around the world. Cool. Do we have any more questions, Flower? Uh, yes, we do. So um, can we only become part of SWAB and other organizations after we pay for tuition for our first semester? Oh. I believe once you get that UTD email, once you have access to your UTD email, that's all the requirements that we ask of and you should be good to go. I'm not sure about payment, but if you wait to pay later throughout the semester, you know, you're on a payment plan, you should be fine. But yes, so basically the only requirements you need to, as long as you're enrolled, have that UTD email because we have the Qualtrics form for our questionnaires for our applications. And once you log in with your UTD email and I believe have access to Galaxy, so those are the two requirements, UTD email and access to Galaxy. Once you log in and do that, you should be all set. Awesome. Emily and Samina, what about enrolling in a student organization? Do they have to be a registered student at the university? Does it have to be after they pay their tuition? What's the rule there? Um, I believe it's just like SWAB, um, just the same thing, just having your um, email your net ID and access to Galaxy, you should be fine. Uh, okay. In addition to that, uh, our match cards also allow prospective students who are looking forward to join UTD but haven't yet joined to fill up the form and look out for the student organizations that are currently active in UTD. So it's open to uh, even prospective students as well as their existing students. So uh, anyone who has a UTD email ID can try to join any student organization. Cool. So it sounds like, you know, as long as you guys have accepted your admission to UTD and you're intending to come to UTD, then these are things that you can participate in. So your tuition and fees has nothing to do with your ability to participate in SWAB or student organizations. Um, unless that, of course, causes you to be an unenrolled student, but that would happen much later in the semester if necessary. Awesome. Do we have any more questions, Flower? I think we're all out. Our presenters did such a great job. They did. They covered so many things. Well, I want to say thank you to everyone who has attended. Um, I know some of you attended the presentation that Flower and myself did about getting adjusted to UTD. So you might remember when we talked a little bit about in American universities, we take student involvement and campus involvement very seriously. And future employers want to see that you have participated in organizations and events outside of classes on campus. And so that's why we want wanted to bring SOC and SWAB into a presentation to make sure you know what options are because it is very important. I know Dom said for stress relief to to kind of take a break from classes. It's very important. Emily talked about meeting friends. There's so many different reasons for getting involved and we really hope that you will take advantage of everything UTD has to offer to give you that opportunity. But thank you so much for participating. This now ends our session and we hope to see you at our next session next Tuesday, which is where we will be talking with the UTD Big Howdy team, group of volunteers who are dedicated to helping international students. Thank you.